Good day everyone. I'm Karen from the Carmel Arts Council and I'm here today at the Children's Gallery along with another episode of the In the Gallery with the Artist. Today we're interviewing Lynn Chung. She's going to be a freshman at IU Bloomington and at this point, Lynn, I'm honored to interview to you today. Can you tell us a little about yourself and maybe when you started being interested in art? Yeah, thank you. Um, so a little about myself, I started getting interested in art when I was uh, very young. I think um, it was when my mom and my brother were taking art classes and at this point I was like four or something. I was just like, oh, that's so cool. And then in elementary school, we had um, after school care and in that during that time I found my interest in art I think because we had a lot of art activities and then and then I went to my mom I was like I want to take art classes <laughs> so when I was about eight I started taking art classes wow and, eight years old really I wow think so. <laughs> um, and then um, at my art class my teacher taught me to um, pay attention to detail so um, we looked at a lot of um, masters artwork so I did a lot of master studies and uh, I was like my start in realism and then um, later in high school I started going into other styles so I wanted to incorporate maybe impressionism or like surrealism okay. so that was when I was trying to um, incorporate some of my own imagination and that was, that was a lot harder in my <laughs> opinion but um, I'm still working on that. Good. Well, I, I noticed that you do a lot in colored pencil. Is that, do you have a favorite medium that you use or? Or is it all is it all over the board? It's all oh, over the board. Good, I, that's I awesome to, though. Yeah, I want to explore a lot of other mediums besides acrylic, graphite, colored pencil. Okay, okay. Well, Lynn, could you possibly describe? I know you have a beautiful um, portrait of, of a cat, and I believe it's your cat. Could you maybe describe that picture, and then we'll go around to a few other pictures, and we can, we'll do the same. Okay. Um. So this is my cat Apricot. Um. This painting was in inspired by um, just watching her be in kind of her own world. It was just a very like pure and innocent moment. So Aww. I just wanted to capture that. Yeah, she's really cute. <laughs> she's adorable. And her apricot's her name? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a perfect name for the color of the cat too. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Let, let's go see another picture. Okay. So we're at um, the next artist drawing. So could you possibly describe this next um, portrait, Lynn? So this drawing is called Memory of a Melody. It's um, done in charcoal. Um, it's of a walkway that I saw in China. I really like the walkway because um, it seemed to remind me of kind of like a faint memory that was similar to um, remembering a melody that I couldn't quite place the really? name of. So um, that's why there's like a piano in the back too. And what year was that? Uh, 2000, oh, I forget, 18. 2008, wow, just gorgeous, just gorgeous. So we'll go on to another, um, um, art piece. Okay, Lynn, so here is the th uh, a third picture. Um, that picture is just beautiful. It looks so angelic. So can you describe this one for us? Um, so this is a graphite drawing called Tranquil Freedom. Oh. Um, <laughs> it was inspired by um, a picture of a dancer. She's we actually, she's one of our um, friends. Um, oh, really? So, so you know the person? Yeah, she's uh, oh. my church pastor's daughter. Oh, this, this, I assume she saw this beautiful picture of her, yeah. right? Oh, how, how wonderful. How wonderful. And what made you choose her? Um, you just was inspired when you saw her in her dance uniform? Um, yeah, so she, it just seemed like she was really enjoying what she was doing, and it kind of gave me this very tranquil um, feeling. And because she was really enjoying what she was doing, I think that was what reminded me of freedom, because when we kind of achieve our goal, we feel like free and that we're really enjoying what we're doing. So this was just kind of to capture that emotion. And um, at the same time, I wanted to like be more free with my art, so that's why yeah. there are some more like abstract designs in the back. Wow, Lynn, how thoughtful. I mean, that's a very thoughtful way of, uh, um, of approaching that, uh, that piece of work. That's awesome. Okay, Lynn, this is uh, the fourth um, artist drawing that we're gonna talk about. And um, actually, I have to tell you, Lynn, this is probably one of my favorites. Um, the, the viewers right now can't see the almost 40 pieces that you have curated um, for this exhibit. These are just gorgeous. Um, this one is my favorite. Thank you for choosing one of the four that we're gonna highlight because it's my favorite. But um, could you maybe tell us about this one? Um, yeah, so this is a colored pencil drawing called Lost and Found. Um, it was actually 
inspired by a picture I found on Instagram of, of this girl holding a bunny and I just thought it was very pure and um, it was really a moment of like happiness and um, just a moment of her cherishing just oh. her and the bunny and this uh, moment of peacefulness. So um, I think that's just a feeling that we need to have in this fast-paced lifestyle of today's world where we just want to take a break, um, look around us and appreciate the beauty. Oh, Lynn, you are so, so right, especially during this time that, that we're all in. Did you say this is colored pencil? Yeah. Wow. And did you say that this mine of this um, portrait, um, uh, I'm sorry, not portrait, I guess it would be just an art piece, um, that won an award too, right? Oh, yeah. Um, so the award that I won was um, at the Carmel International Arts Festival. Wow. Um, I think it was in 2018, it was for the high school division. I got the Rosemary Waters Award. I mean, oh, well, you should be so proud of yourself. That I mean, what a, I mean, that's just fantastic, fantastic. Hey, then, can you um, tell us what you're going to be pursuing as a degree at IU Bloomington? Um, at IU, I'll be majoring in neuroscience and minoring in studio art. Um, in the future, I think I'd like to become a neuroscientist or neurologist or maybe do something in art therapy or um, study neuroaesthetics to combine both art and neuroscience. Wow, well, uh, you should be proud of yourself, your parents should be proud of yourself or for you, of you. Um, it sounds so exciting. And uh, I know it's going to be a different uh, experience your freshman year, but we do hope that come 2021, it's going to be a different situation at IU and all your classes will hopefully be in person versus some of them being online this year, right? Right. And hopefully the, 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 the school cafeteria will have better food too, right? <laughs> right? So, so Lynn, thank you so much for taking the time to meet with, the, uh, meet, with meet at the gallery. Thank um, you. This interview will be posted on our website and the Carmel Arts Council um, Facebook page as well to learn more about the artist that we're talking to today. So Lynn, thank you so much. You are so, so talented and uh, kudos to you and best of luck at college. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'd like to thank all of my art teachers from elementary school to high school, especially Mrs. Kramer and Mr. Murray for guiding and encouraging me. Um, I'd also like to give a special thank you to Miss Marilyn, um, my private art teacher of ten, almost 10 years. Oh my. Um, yeah, she really um, fostered my interest in art and taught me so much of what I know now. Um, I'd also like to um, thank my friends and family for always um, supporting and encouraging me. And um, a big thank you to Mrs. Burrow and Mrs. Kennedy and everyone else in the Carmel Arts Council for um, giving me this amazing opportunity to share my art and for continuously supporting me. Thank you oh, so much. Thank you, Lynn. You are so well deserving. And again, you have a, a beautiful career in front of you and you are an outstanding artist. So again, thank you so much again for taking the time out on a Sunday um, to meet with us and uh, to conduct the interview. So again, congratulations and best of luck going forward.